In a previous video, you saw me make this angled rod holder that hooks over a cleat in my boat. But today, we're going to use the same concept, except we're going to do away with the need for a cleat. I'm going to mark my T-fitting and cut it in a such a way that I can use my heat gun and pull down some legs and then the rod holder itself will be the mounting bracket and we can screw this right to the boat we don't have to worry about needing a cleat. Why don't you come along? Well the first thing we're going to do is cut ourselves a couple of rod holders so we're going to make those 12 inches long. You recall I like the Japanese saw for cutting pipe because this wide blade cuts real straight. Next thing we need to do is mark on our rod holder three inches down from the end. And since this isn't going to be a vertical rod holder, I'm not going to worry about the mounting hole on the other end. So three inches down, we're going to use our drill. And I've got two sizes of drill bits here. First one's a little smaller. We'll start with a small hole. It's always useful when you're drilling to put a small hole in first. Instead of trying, trying to do it all at once. And one of the things we've learned with PVC is when you drill, it's uh, it's so soft that once your bit grabs, it wants to pull the bit down through and you can damage the underside of your piece of pipe. So I'm going to grab a piece of wood. It's really aggressive when it goes through that PVC. Okay. We made our hole. That's about a half inch hole on the end of our pipe. Now what we want to do is take our pencil and a straight edge and we're just going to mark parallel lines down here beside this hole extending to the end of the pipe. What this is going to do is the channel we're going to cut to allow our fishing rod to slide down in there if it's a spin, spinner tile type rod. Before we cut those out though we want to splay open the end of our pipe so that it receives the handle easier. And to do that, I'm gonna use this metal funnel and heat gun. Okay, I've got my metal funnel fastened to my work table. And I've made a mark on the side here to show where I want my pipe to end up once it gets warm. And that'll splay it open. And what you wanna do is just take your heat gun, apply a little heat, it only takes about a minute with this thin wall inch and a quarter. It takes a little longer if it's heavier. We're just going to warm that up and uh, then we'll push it down over there and get that up. And once you push it down over there, you want to hold it after you turn off your gun and let it cool in position. If you pull it off right away, the PVC wants to kind of return to its previous form. So make sure you hold it and let it cool down after you take the heat off it. We'll heat the inside as well. Now we're just going to hold it there while it cools. We don't want to push too hard or it'll make a pucker in it. We don't want that. Another thing to keep in mind is don't cut this out until you've splayed the end because otherwise when you push down on it, it'll open up too much and you won't be able to hold it together. So we're just going to hold that down there for just a little bit longer. Make sure it takes that set. Some people plunge this into cool water, but I found that if you just wait a moment or two and let it cool, uh, you'll be good to go. You can always reheat it and do it again if it changes form and you don't like what you've got. So there we have it. It has a nice beveled end on it, and that'll be nice for when you try to put your fishing rod into the into the holder. We've got our ends beveled out now, so all we need to do is cut out the slot in the end of our rod holder. Okay, 
okay now we just take a little sandpaper and we're going to clean up all these edges where we've sawed this out right up here where the rod goes into the slot you can actually take your scissors if you want and nip those sharp corners off If they're a little hard to nip off, you can always go back to your hot air gun and uh, warm them up a little bit. But heavy duty set of scissors or even metal shears will nip that right off. Then just take the sandpaper and round them up just a little bit. Actually, that's looking pretty good. And like I said, you can drill couple holes in there and uh, you'll have the version that mounts upright in your boat. But that's not what we're going for today. To mark our inch and a quarter T fitting uh, for our feet, we're going to use our speed square to get the angle correct. And then I'm going to use this piece of wood. I'm just going to use it as a guide. And then on each end, we're going to find out where the level is. For a fitting. Now to make the feet, I'm going to draw a line up here down to level and from up here down to level and we're going to do that on each side. There we are. I'm drawing a line three quarters of an inch in from the end all the way around our teeth fitting and that's going to be our guide for cutting our legs. So to make our legs we're going to cut, cut, cut here, and cut here. And then we're going to cut down on this way and this way. To make our foot we cut in here Then when we heat that, it's going to lay down for us. The multi tool is a wonderful little tool because it cuts, but it makes a very fine line and it's not so aggressive that it gets out of control and it gets in places that you couldn't get with a hacksaw. We've got them cut loose and warmed them up the first time to get them to start laying down. Now I'm going to warm the flaps again. both sides and while they're still warm put a board in each side here that's going to help them form to the shape we want let them cool and see if we need to do it again. While we're letting those cool we need to drill a hole right down through here. So let's do that. And on the top side need to enlarge our hole. wings have molded pretty good. All we need in our wings now is in the back we need a couple of small holes. Alright.
Today I made an angled rod holder using inch and a quarter PVC pipe and an inch and a quarter T fitting. The T fitting itself has been modified and it's the mounting bracket for our angled rod holder. All you have to do to fasten it to your boat is screw it down through the feet that we've made. All you have to do is put your rod in the rod holder and even a bite from the strongest fish isn't going to pull your rod holder out of the boat. If you like my videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, just click right there. We'll see you next time.